Hey YouTubers, what's up? Hardcore Gamer for Life here. And I'm going to be bringing you a subscriber request match today. Uh, Johnny Descater requested that I do a match with the RPD. And so I went ahead and designed my RPD class, named it Rick James, bitch! Because the RPD definitely does lay down the smackdown. And uh, you know, I'm not much of an LMG fan in all honesty. But uh, I do use them for my nuke boosting douche hunting classes. 100 round clips, ni uh, nice to have handy when you gotta face uh, three or four nuke boosters at some times. You know, they do get pretty organized occasionally. <laughs> I mean, you could bring a hockey stick or a wall bat to the fight, and still probably win, but hey. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, uh, with the LMGs, you know, they, they have their good aspects. They throw a lot of lead down range, they do a lot of damage. You know, they're not as accurate as I would like them to be which is one of the main reasons I don't use them primarily. They uh, are pretty heavy and bulky and they really slow down your movement rate. Another thing which I don't really care for about them. But, you know, uh, if you're a good LMG user though, uh, you can really do some rapage with these things because that deep clip uh, is like a shotgun. You can get, you know, six or seven kills with that sucker if you know what you're doing. <laughs> if not more, you know, actually considerably more. To get a really good one. But anyway, I digress. Right here, I think that guy's dead. Vice guys, if you don't hear Tango Sucker or something like that, dude's probably not dead. You might want to go back and just make sure for yourself. <laughs> Certainly, probably would have helped me there. So. But I'm going to keep on rushing this side because I know there's guys over here. And, uh, I feel like with my RPD, if I get the right line out, I can get a nice double or triple spray. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and chuck a exploratory simtex up here, but don't notice there's a guy up on that rock. Now guys, that's camping. You know what I do here in this match, kinda of running back and forth patrolling this whole back area. Some might call that camping. To me, what that guy's doing on that rock, that's camping. Sitting in one spot and farming out a kill streak. You know, and I'm not saying there's nothing anything wrong with that. Hey, if you can sit in one spot and get a good kill streak, more power to you. But really, guys, come on. Don't complain about campers. It's all too easy to deal with them. Let's do a little multiple choice quiz. What's the best way to deal with a camper? A. Piss, moan, whine, and complain that somebody's camping. B. Rage quit. Or C. Drop a Semtex on them. Kids, the correct answer to that multiple choice question is C. <laughs> so, you know, can't, don't bitch about campers, guys. Just kill them. If they're a true camper, they're really not that hard to deal with. <laughs> so, that's kind of my take on that anyway. But, yeah, uh, you know, one thing about using guns uh, that you don't like is, you know, it helps you get out of your comfort zone. Uh, for example, I mean, it's not that I totally don't like the RPD, but you know what I'm saying. For It's not your preferred gun. Uh, you know, I've, and I've, like I said, I've tried to get uh, familiar with pretty much every gun in the game. And the same thing with the attachments. I don't really care for the ACOG or the noob tube on the assault rifles for that matter, but I use those attachments to get my 20 kills because, hey, A, it gets you out of your comfort zone. Anything that does that is probably going to improve your play somewhat. B, it's going to get you that extra experience. And, of course, that's going to help you prestige that, much, that little bit much faster. Admittedly, it's not a huge amount you get for any of those challenges, but, you know, obviously, any little XP helps in ranking up so that's kind of my philosophy behind that and you'll see kind of what I do here uh, you know I don't I'm not rocking claymores or anything because I just felt with the uh, RPD you know, I just wanted I'm not gonna rush completely in a game like team deathmatch of course uh, just get I'm gonna catch too many bullets to the face that way but uh, at the same time I'm not gonna kick back with claymores I'm gonna continually rush where I feel the enemy is at because I feel that uh, if I can get a good lineup with this gun, I'm going to get a good dou double, triple spray or two in a round, you know, because that's where its strength lies, is being able to stand off in an area uh, with that deep clip and, you know, knock out a few kills if uh, you got, uh, you know, a half, a third of the team rushing at you at one time, you know. <laughs> so, obviously, play any class, any weapon that you're using, play to its strengths. You know, I find uh, sometimes I get on with a certain class, and you'll see this on my uh, demolition comeback on uh, Scrapyard. 
that I have posted as well, where you know I'll I'll get in and I won't I'll pick a certain class, but I won't really feel like playing the role that that class uh, necessitates. And when that happens, I generally play very poorly, and you know, I, it makes me uh, like in that in that uh, demolition comeback. I just had a rough, rough first round and ended up having a great comeback in the second round because I started playing my class the way that it was designed to be played. So always keep in mind the class, weapons, loadout, everything that you're using and use every bit of it to your full advantages. You know, if you guys, if you're rushing a point where you know or suspect enemies to be, toss out your flash grenades, you know, toss out your Semtex, you know, uh, send those things ahead of you so, you know, you... A, you might get a lucky kill, or B, you know, you at least uh, disrupt the enemy enough to make it much easier to go up there and get those kills, rather than just rushing up, presenting your head and saying, you know, paint my way, well, paint a bullseye on it, you know, <laughs> please shoot me. <laughs> yeah, people uh, rage about campers, but I think it's those type of people that are constantly rushing out and just getting their ass handed to them. But not even people that are necessarily camping, just people that are playing a similar strategy like I am here of patrolling an area and holding it down, you know. And don't rage at other players' play styles, man, in my opinion. I'm going to give you guys this tip, you know, and you can choose to uh, eat it or disregard it. But to me, I don't want to complain about another person's play style. I don't want to complain about the weapon another person's using. I don't want to complain about a perk another person's using, or a piece of equipment, or an attachment, or anything. And here's the reason why. When I do that, I relinquish my control over the game. Because I can't control my opponent's strategy. I can't control the attachment my opponent's picking. I can't control any number of things in this game. I can control my own gameplay. So I prefer, if I'm doing poorly, to always blame it on my own gameplay because that's something I control, that, that's something I can do something about. If I'm playing crappy, well, get smart, start playing better. But guys, don't rage and blame it on other people's strategies, other people's attachments, other people's tactics. Because really, that's not going to improve your game one bit. It's just going to get you mad. And it's also playing right into their hands because what are you going to do? You're going to rush right into their trap headlong, time and time again. And that's letting another player get into your head. Guys, don't do that. You know, Don't let the other players get into your head. Get into their head. Use tactics and strategies and attachments and equipment that madden them. You know, Not to the point, don't get me wrong, I'm not advocating boosting or, you know, that's bull crap. <laughs> Straight up. I'm not advocating any kind of cheating, but don't let yourself be limited by what your opponent thinks you should do. Always go with your own strategies, with your own selection of weapons, with your own selection of attachments. Because that's where you're going to do best. If someone says it's noob, don't just stop using something because of that. They're just trying to get you off, their, off your game. So anyway, the match is winding down here. And uh, did rather well. You know, in the end, I get, uh, I believe, uh, 22 kills, 2 assists, and 6 deaths. So, you know, if you were to factor in the assist, that's a 4 to 1 KD. Not bad for me, especially considering, you know, I'm just starting to break more into team games. And uh, also, again, not an LMG user, but this gun is great. And I happen to do post a quite nice round with it this time. So, Johnny the Skater, there you go. Thank you, you guys, for viewing. Uh, thanks for all the great ratings, comments, uh, all the guys subscribing. I just appreciate you guys so much. And keep on watching. This is Hardcore Gamer for Life signing out. And I get Immortal, Unstoppable, and None Spared.